In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to dominate with sometimes unconventional last picks. So game number one, going right into it. I'm going to be on the Edgar. I get a lot of requests to play this for all in my streams. Um, and yeah, you can see my Max. I think he was trolling me because we played the game before and I don't know. I just, he was trolling. So I got kind of mad at him, but I'm pretty sure he was trolling me or like trying to lose the game. I can still 1v3 this game like very easily. Edgar is so good into their comp. I also have the shield on, so just I can survive a little longer and get more healing. And uh, in this matchup, I actually went for the extra damage star power. Now, usually I go the healing one, but uh, they are very low HP, so I wanted to burst them if they do overextend. The only one that I can't really jump on is the gray. He can TP away, obviously. And uh, Mandy can slow me. Once I'm slow, I should die to the other two. Uh, so you can see right there, I get taken down very low. Nice gene pull there. I'm gonna pop the shield and go right in here. I don't need to chase him. He has to come to me. I have the control of the center of the map. So I'm just gonna play a really slow, try getting my super as well. He's gonna TP, just feed me the rest of my super. Now I don't have the gadget once again that charges super out of the shield one. I think this one's better in knockout. The only issue is you can get pushed in really easily. So I think it's pretty like dependent on uh, their comp. And obviously you don't want to pick Edgar early. You can see the max again. Like I actually think he's trolling. I don't know. I feel bad for the gene, but uh, it's fine. I can carry this game. The gene's playing good too. It's giving me some healing here. I'm thinking about going for it. I think I might try, honestly. If two of them ever group together though, I can definitely jump on them and just kind of get a bunch of healing. I'm gonna try. I walk into a Grom shot. I don't think there's anything wrong with trying there. Uh, I do have a teammate that's literally trolling, so, you know, I don't really care. Uh, I'll go for <laughs> riskier plays than usual. And I do have four gadgets, I wanna say. No, actually I have three gadgets. I do bring four gadgets on Edgar a lot. But uh, I brought the supercharge one because I am going uh, shield Edgar, and I think that's fine. Uh, there is only three rounds of knockout, so hopefully I don't need more than like a gadget per round. So here, I don't know, he's just like being way too aggressive. Gene's gonna miss his pull, I'm gonna get out. Uh, I don't really know what he was planning on doing there. The <laughs> great is a really weird TP. And uh, they know they lost at this point, so we just go and clean up. So I don't know what the man he was doing. It overextended, kind of threw, and the gray did a weird TP as well. But that was game number one. All right, so game number two, the Max realized that he couldn't throw hard enough. So he literally just AFK'd. Look, he AFK'd. My plan was to just use him as a distraction, and like, my gene dies, he gets slowed by the Mandy. It's okay, uh, not his fault. <laughs> I was using him as bait. I thought it was smart, but then he turned into a bot and I'm like, ah, oh, like my bait just ran away. And you can see he's just like trolling, like whatever, like he's that kind of person, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think I can 1v3 this. So I do get a nice kill on the Mandy. I think the gray should hook me here. The crumb is breaking on me as well. I'm feeling good about this 1v3 now. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, as long as I don't get hooked or hit by too many Grom shots. I am taken down to one, but I can pop my gadget. So I'm gonna do that right there and get the Grom out. And he TPs right on me. You don't wanna TP right on me uh, because I can do that. I hit the 1v3. <laughs> Max is like, oh, like, doesn't matter how hard I try throwing, like we're winning this game. I guess I'll pretend to try now and uh, just get the elo. So, yeah, Power League having a report button that works would be very nice. Um, but he's just like trying to play it off like he was trying now. Like he wasn't just like AFK and like just literally running it down the first like two games because he was crying about the last game. Um, and yeah, you can see here, I think the other team is pretty tilted. <laughs> I kind of sound tilted as well. And uh, I'm just looking to make some space. As long as none of us die early, it should be pretty free. Uh, Max going aggro up top there as well. Mandy does have a slow on. Got to be careful I don't get hit by that. So I'm getting ready to jump. I pop my shield there and uh, I'm going to jump on the Grom. So the gray can kill me. 
The Grom, like, it shouldn't be able to hit me. And uh, 1v2 now. Max trying its hardest to lose the 1v2. But, uh, you know, he's just going to clean up. And uh, we are going to get that one. We had a nice 1v3, too. So it is a very free Edgar game. But 10-2 on Edgar and knockout. I think it's impressive regardless. Like, I think I played it pretty good. And uh, shout out to the Gene. He played really well as well. Next up, I got a treat for you guys. A fish game. Six pick fish. Now, I like fish on this map a lot. I think left side might actually be better as long as it's not something I can get really hard pinch from because when I get up in that wall by the penny, I can just kind of dominate them and I have the shield gadget to tank. You can see doing some double bubble. Penny's overextending. I get a nice like 4.2k on her. She's chunked out. Now's my time to move up. Just gonna bait out some shots, make sure she stays low. And uh, I'm gonna go for the gust because I see he's one. Could have guessed for the penny, but uh, there's no rush. I have position. I think that's really bad what the Piper just did there. Usually it'd be good, but I could keep them all spawn trapped by myself. But the Piper took out my walls. So now I can get pinched really easily. And um, yeah, that's a little unfortunate from the Piper, but it's not really his fault. I don't think a lot of people are very familiar with the fish. So, you know, I'm not going to get upset over it. And uh, yeah, Dog just lets the Rico wander in our spawn. I was wondering what was happening because we, this should have been like a 10 0. So the Rico literally just walked in our spawn. Like, bro has nothing to say about it. I got to go back, give all my position up, clean it up. I don't even get the treat either. You can see it right there, guys. I know how to aim the fish thing and it goes forever. I'm pretty sure it goes like, as far as the Mandy thing. So I'm going to hit him and then just snipe him like top right. It's the same break as like a spike pattern uh, without curveball. So I've been getting kind of good at it. I've been sniping people with it lately. I go for a few more later on. They're not as successful, but I think it's fine to try. Uh, I like limit testing in Power League. If you guys watch me, you know that. So <laughs> the game is getting a little closer though. And uh, yeah, the penny, I don't know about that turret, but I'm getting pinched really hard here. Just gonna, we almost take out the Gus, and uh, that would have been really nice if we could pick up the kill there as well. And Piper's gonna curve the Rico to get him low. Is that for me? I, wait, why don't I pick it up? I tried going for the snipe there. I'm trolling, I don't know why I pick it up. I think I thought the Piper might have one, but still, I should ego that. Um, and I do move up the map and take out the Rico. Penny is in our spawn though. The dog's been having a pretty tough time with its lanes, I think. Piper's gonna go down as well. That's pretty bad. And uh, yeah, this game it should have been like 10-0 in my opinion uh, with how the start went, but they have countdown now. So uh, just gotta contest these gems. And it's like a very, like it's so close at the end. I don't know if we have enough time. I think we do. I'm like calling to go back. I think we would have had enough time, but uh, the dog did kill the Rico. It would have been really close, honestly. It would have been so close. So, props on the dog. I just knew, like, I wanted to go for something aggro, but I thought, like, we could reset it, and I didn't know if I would get the kill for sure. But then the Piper followed me, so I was like, all right, I gotta go back, like, Piper, and we can watch mid together. Uh, if we had comms, you know, that would be something that helped, but uh, it's okay. We are gonna secure the win, and a uh, nice solid fishy victory. Alright guys, game number two. I'm gonna look to do the same thing. I do think they switch lanes, but I'm kind of okay with that. Like I said, as long as mid's not like super, super hard pinching me, I don't mind going this side with the fish. Uh, when they try pushing up, I can definitely take them pretty low and I can just like pinch the mid as well. So that's my favorite thing to do <laughs> here. I didn't know he was gonna be here, honestly. But the shield gadget makes me so tanky. He kind of caught me off guard, and I'm gonna one shot him for that. Like, you don't catch me off guard, bro, on the fish. You get one shot for that. But uh, yeah, at this point, please don't break the walls. Please don't break the walls. Please don't break the walls. Breaks the walls. And um, yeah, now I can't spawn trap them all by myself. I tried going for a snipe here in case he was pushing me. Like I said, I've been like limit testing a bit more with the super. And into this, there's nothing that can really get on top of me, so I don't need to hold it. But you can just see, once I have this position into their comp, there's uh, nothing they can really do. So I think it's just kind of, a lot of people think brawlers are just, you know, bad, like the fish or something, but it's just knowing when to pick it. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying I always make the right decisions, but I do have a pretty, oh, nice little snipe there just for practice. I do have a pretty good understanding of matchups in the game. 
I play the video game a lot, so hopefully I can teach you guys something about that as well. Coda, like, ruining my KD, like, alright bro, like, thank you for the ELO. Alright guys, very rare occurrence. I don't know if I've made a Power League video with my Mortis ever. I never really pick it. I was going, like, I had this video in mind, so I was like, I got, I gotta go, like, Mort one time. And I think Mort's pretty good to all these matchups, even Ash. Um, I don't think it's a bad matchup for him. So he's gonna be on that Willow Gadget, it's fine. My ping was so high this game too. Like, I don't know what server it was, but my Nita's gonna fold lane. I'm gonna just go get bats. But uh, I don't know how the Nita's losing good side. Um, he does have bear now, so it should be a little unlosable. Ash is gonna waste his rats. Um, I'm gonna go for something aggro here when they line up. I'm gonna get the double bats and uh, get some more double bats. I dashed the wrong way. I definitely get a team wipe them. Um, I, I think it was auto aiming there and it dashed the wrong way, but it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna just take out Willow and we should be able to score here. So I'm just kind of buying my time and uh, I see a good opportunity to go in. They throw the ball towards the net. I'll just go and clean up. So yeah, it's a very good Mort game as you guys can see. And I'm gonna go on the Gus cause I know I'm close to bats. Uh, I think I can take out the Willow as well and he had mind control but he didn't want to use it on me because I guess he didn't want to give me the full HP um, but yeah pretty straightforward game one all right game number two they are gonna put the ash on my lane which it's smart for them but I think Mortis into ash is okay um, I don't think it's the worst matchup for Mort ever and uh, yeah you can see I'm just gonna go at him I use fork uh, gadget on Mort now and I get a nice charge on my bats there. So I use four gadgets and uh, the reload one. And I do get the double bats, but I didn't get the healing from the Gus in time. It's okay. Um, I don't really mind spamming gadgets and uh, using my super there because I did hit two people. So I'm like one shot to it right now. I know the Willow has it, so I'm just trying to bait it out. I'll bait it out. Now it's free to go in. She wanted to score there. She was being greedy. Uh, just gotta wait for this. And I missed the bats on the willow. I don't know how it was like in the hitbox, but we're gonna clean up and you know just score. They're focused on me, and my teammates, 1v2 the ash, and get a good goal. So I'm just gonna go straight for the gus. I don't think I need to play a lane, and I'm gonna mess my bats up. <laughs> I, I'm still working on the mark guys. My ping was really high this game. I thought he was just saying it. I don't know what server it was um, But I did not have an enjoyable game. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it was more enjoyable than theirs I'm just gonna run right at him dodge the willow super and score give it a little spin and uh, Yeah, it's as easy as that All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the quick video make sure to like subscribe and comment and check out some of these videos below. See you next time guys. Peace.